Hey, so I just got back out of the office. The stuff that you're about to see needs to be um, explained a little bit. I was going to the doctor for a specific test today and we ended up having to change the test that we were going to do because of the uh, pharmacy. And so um, the test that I'm saying in the video is not the test that we're doing. We're actually doing, uh, we actually did a celiac test and um, some other kind of test. I don't really know the name of it, unfortunately. I wish I did because it'd be really, um, it'd be nice to be able to like tag the name of the test in the video, but I don't. It's some kind of like light test where I went back and forth and I did like a poor man's tilt table test um, during some kind of like other type of test. It was, it's a bunch of autonomic nervous system related stuff, um, but we didn't do the um, first test in the morning that we were going to do, um, but we will do it soon. We had to reschedule it. So hopefully the um, pharmacy will get the medicine this time, but I'll let you see my day today. Hi, my name is Kat. Hey, so we're on our way to my appointment. We're at the uh, pharmacy right now, uh, right there. I don't know if you can see it, but we're at the pharmacy right now and um, we're picking up my, um, my prescription and um it's something i'm gonna have to take i don't really know exactly when i think i might have to take it in the car hopefully not because i already feel like i'm gonna throw up but i've been trying not to but we're gonna be doing two tests today and i don't know if this is gonna be a separate video like two different videos or not but it's the um autonomic nervous system test which is um i like controls all the things you don't think about like your digestion your breathing your a bunch of stuff and then we're also going to do a gastric intake study today so this might be two videos it might be one um, you'll find out, but let's hope it goes well and let's hope I don't throw this stuff up. Hey, so we're in the um, room that I'm going to be doing the test in. Um, the tests that I've already done, we haven't been I haven't been able to record them because um, I need my hands to do the test. I can't remember the other names. I'll have to ask the lady when she comes in, but I like followed a light, a green light, um, with my eyes up and down and stuff. A um, bunch of weird things with these weird with these weird goggle things that keep falling off my head because I keep ticking. That sounds warm. Those yeah, it's supposed to be a little warm. It Like that warm though? Because it's always been cold. Well, we get to wait. Okay. So, um, I got done with my first set of tests, kind of. We were doing this thing where they were putting something in my ear, but it didn't, um, the left side didn't want to work. The machine doesn't want to turn on. We were doing the right side, um, but I kept ticking and we had to like stop too many times um, and the machine's been acting up so now we can't get it turned on for the left side and so we're waiting for it to turn back on and then we're also waiting for my two o'clock appointment um, which this is going to be um, one video because I didn't record um, the test because of the nature of the test you have to keep your hands down you can't keep them up in the air um, like the way I need to when I'm recording and so um, we didn't get to see those just like with the tilt table test I didn't get to record those um I guess I could have like tried to ask if I could put the um camera up but then I wouldn't be able to like keep their face out of it and even though I can like ideally like block their face out later with um at the doctor there is like a um privacy thing so I'm limited at what I can um, record. If you can tell, I'm a little sick today. Um, my voice, the longer I talk, the worse it gets. But um, we're doing, um, we're getting through the appointments one by one. We're not doing the gastric intake study today though. Um, it had to get moved because we were going to do two different tests. But um, the medication that I was going to get at the pharmacy this morning wasn't there. So yeah change of plans so weird okay is it one ah uh, nope it didn't work oh now it's working it's working okay oh see it's so warm it's warmer like it's like you're blowing hot air it's like it's broken well, it is broken, but you know what I mean. Again. <laughs> Jesus. I may just have to have you come back to do this last one. Because <laughs> it's not working. 
Okay, we get to chill. Okay. We're just waiting for the machine down there to work. Every time she switches it to heat, it shuts off and overheats. So we might have to reschedule this particular test, but hopefully we won't because I do not want to have to drive out here again if we don't have to. She's going to get food. I told her she could go get food. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. I'm supposed to be fasting for my celiac test. So we're just waiting for the machines to work and I'm in this room. This is the room that I did the tilt table test on in this little um, bed. They strap you down and raise you. Nope, won't work. No. Okay, um, at this point, should we schedule it? <laughs> just that one, yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to keep you. That's wrong. You're about to have to be pulled anyway. But not here. Ah! Monkeys! Whoop, whoop! No! Ah! No! We'll be done soon. I have to do the celiac test next, which I'm not looking forward to because my stomach really hurts today and they're gonna have to press like ungodly hard. The reason they want you to be fasting is because of how hard they're pressing can make you throw up. So, uh, yeah, not looking forward to this test, but we're gonna do it. back home finally um it took forever we had some traffic um we've had some traffic every day that i've been going to these appointments but this traffic was different because we didn't like normally we have traffic until we get onto like the toll road we've been using the toll road because i've been um when i'm in the car i'm throwing up just about constantly um just from all the movement um car sickness you know already being nauseous um bunch of things um if i have a tick attack i will also throw up there's a bunch of reasons why i throw up um but we're thinking the big, big reason is like gastroparesis or like SIBO or um i think malls might be one of them that might be making me throw up something like that we're testing for a bunch of things but anyway um i forgot my point anyway there was a bunch of traffic today we um missed the turn to go on the um the thing i just said you know the road that you have to pay for. Why can't I remember this now? I just said it. You know what I mean though. Anyway, we didn't um, get on that road and the fact that I can't remember the name of it is driving me insane. But, um, so, it took us a lot longer to get home with traffic. Um, like, no with normal everyday traffic, it's about an hour there and back. Today it was about an hour and 45 minutes. Um, there. And then back was about two hours. So you can, like, it was a long time but we are getting closer and closer to my results day which is the 16th of january so it'll be way late before y'all see um that but i'm sure i'll post the results on my instagram account um i probably won't do all the results um i'll probably want to save a lot of it for my vlog but um it'll be you'll get updates there sooner than on youtube or like unless you want to do my patreon um, which there's always a link in my description for that kind of stuff. Um, the first test we had to do, I can't remember the name of it. I wish I could, but it's a, um, I couldn't remember the name of the test that I did this morning, but it was some kind of like light test. I've done it before. I just wasn't, um, doing YouTube then. Um, basically it's this test where it was a little bit different. It was following a green, um, hourglass thing across the stream. It would go like this and I'd have to like follow it with my eyes. I already know what it's gonna be. Um, my eyes um, go too soon, and um, that's what I'm expecting the results to be because I've had already done this kind of test before. Either way, um, I had to like hold this thing on my face while we did it. I, um, I'm sure y'all saw a um, picture of me holding that thing on my face. I had to do that too, but in front of a computer screen, and they had it where only I could see one eye out of one eye, and I had to like follow this stuff. Um, and they only did it with one eye and for some reason they did it with my worst eye I guess maybe they're, they're thinking they're gonna be both on the same side. I don't know, but with my uveitis my left eye um, Is really bad. 
Um, I haven't made a video talking about my uveitis, but it's from my juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which is now just rheumatoid arthritis because um, I guess you could say I graduated with age. Either way, today went pretty well. I did do the um, celiac test, which is not, the, which doesn't have to do with celiac disease. It has to do with your celiac. Uh, fuck, I had it. There's like a nerve, a celiac nerve, I'm gonna call it. But it's in your, it's in your tummy, and it controls some shit. And I wish I knew more, but I don't. Basically, they were testing me for malls. I have a blurry picture, but I don't think I'm going to be able to read it. Yeah, I think I deleted it because of how blurry it was. Maybe not. Okay, celiac artery. So they were looking at my celiac artery, and it has like two branches or some shit. And either one or both can be messed up, and that can cause like pain. It's called malls, but it's not, that's not what it's. God, this is medium arcuate, arcuate ligament syndrome. It has to do with POTS. Or it has to do with like the whole dysautonomia bubble and pots and all that stuff. So it's all related to that. But um, she had to press super fucking hard on my stomach to see. And I had to be um, fasting for this test. Which really sucks for some reason. Like when I'm, uh, I guess, if, like when I'm, when I'm not, I don't know how to say this. My mouth don't work. I guess when my stomach is empty, I tend to have more pain in my stomach than the average person to the point where I have to be almost like in the fetal position scrounged up in a ball because of how much my stomach hurts um, I'll also use a heating pad during this time um, and I didn't have my heating pad because this particular office doesn't have any wall plugs in the um, room so it would have been useless to bring it because I can't use it in the car because I've used it in the car and it caught on fire and we had a whole problem with that and we're not gonna do that again even though I'd love to bring my heating pad and it would help me manage my pain better. I can't. Anyway, it really sucked because you kept having to press on my stomach and I showed, I, I'm pretty sure I showed you the video that I took on my phone, but um, like exactly where she was pressing up on the higher area of me is right in this dead center of this huge ass like pain that is, is associated with my chest pain. Um, or at least we thought it was. It's We're, we're thinking it's the malls. There's a helicopter. Anyway, we will have results on the 16th. I'm super, super, super nervous and excited and like, I don't know how to feel because I feel like excited is like the wrong word because I'm like, yeah, I'm sick. And it's not, yeah, I'm sick. It's yeah, possible answers. So yeah, mixed feelings, but I am ready for um, my results. Um, my pots, till table test lady I saw her again today and she said to expect my pots table test to be positive for pots um, she says it always could be some other form of the uh, dysautonomia but she believes it's pots but everything seems to be connected so you know it is looking like it actually is connected we just gotta wait I hope y'all had an amazing day today wasn't too hard um, I'm thankful that the rain is gone. It has been raining for a few days and I was having to use my wheelchair um, like at the doctor's office, but we were like keeping it in the car, if that makes sense. So I didn't have it in the house, but when we went to the doctor's, I could get it out because of the little covering that they have. And so I'm like excited to be able to bring my wheelchair back into the house so I can use it in the house. Um, I was crawling on the floor for a few days and that wasn't fun. <laughs> But I'm gonna let y'all go. Sorry that we're having to wait so long for the results. I still don't know how I'm gonna give you all the results. That video is kind of like, these, all these videos have been kind of like, oh my God, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this because like today we had several appointments, but I'm only making it one video. Um, and there are some videos that are gonna be different appointments. It just kind of depends how much I recorded, I guess. and. Um, when it's several visits that I'm talking more and I don't really know if you'll like longer videos or shorter videos but I'm trying to get my retention rate up which is like how long people watch my videos but I'm gonna let y'all go I hope y'all have an amazing day today don't bleh. don't forget that you know your body better than anybody else please listen to it thank you for staying alive I blah, blah, blah. thank you for staying alive and I think I said I love you, but I love you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>